Speaking of cancel, I gotta bring this up. Netflix had an opportunity to revive. Oh, yeah, they were like, fuck that. And they said, fuck no. <laughs> it's too expensive. Well, why would they? What's the point? It wasn't It wasn't even good. No, I'm just saying. It'd be I, like them yeah, throwing their I'm money I'm not going to make an argument if Terra Nova was good. But all I'm saying is just funny. Okay, okay at no, least they they're failing rejected. to renew something that was bad. Sci-Fi, on the other hand, yeah. seems singularly possessed of the desire yeah. Can we talk about the any desire, desire for a second? to yeah, watch yeah, their we, network. I know it wasn't on the list, and I know I'm just interjecting. And but wait, wait, wait. It's already 10.30. What were the numbers? What were the hardcore numbers? Did, did they get something like two, three million views on that trailer in six hours or something like that? What yeah. were the numbers? There was a shit ton uh, of views on that. I read stuff. the numbers like, wow, that's fucking, that's a no-brainer. It lit up the internet like crazy. Yeah, it was it crazy. Did. It did. No, and I, the response from sci-fi was, no, fuck you guys. Web series. Yeah. Are you fucking yeah, serious? What the fuck? Like, so... What do they want? Do they want us to like literally go to their office There's as a group of fans with- and blow them and be like, "We want you to make the fuck, please." We'll, we'll suck they had a for really fucking good, Chrome. interesting concept for that prequel. Could have been done well. You th- but this is sci-fi we're talking about. This should this surprise anyone? This is the network that canceled Farscape on a cliffhanger. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. These they people. Also, to be fair, they also they also canceled. Uh, Sliders in a cliffhanger, but <laughs> yeah, but okay, but no, but that's not that's different. No, yeah. their reasoning was different. They're, they're, they they canceled Farscape on a cliffhanger for exactly the same reason they're not making Blood and Chrome, money. which is we're not willing to invest the money to make this, even because there's the outside potential that we might not make it back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look, if you had some confidence in yourself yeah, so actually producing confidence. something of quality, it would sound like hotcakes. I mean, in retrospect, how smart does their decision to have canceled Farscape look, considering the ridiculous sales it got on DVD and Blu-ray as soon as it came out? Same thing with this. If they would have done a good job making this show, they would have made money hand over fist on it. But they're just not willing to take the risk. They'd rather be safe, mediocre, and put on direct that's cheap to produce that actually take the risk to try and make something good and that offends the shit out of me. Yeah, what does web series what does it what does it mean so, okay, when they, they say that? What they, are they basically it basically to? now you're gonna get like three hours worth of fucking blood and chrome? And a high five at the end. But is it like web series, like the Mortal Kombat web series? Like no. each episode is like three good. minutes? It's, a sci- it's good, but each no. episode is three yeah. minutes. It's a sci-fi web series, which means that they're probably going to release a half an hour mm, every week for a month and a half. And I thought it was a bit, I thought it was shorter than that because I know yeah yeah it'll be like I think BSG, it was fifteen minutes it'll be like the BSG web series it'll be like fifteen fucking minutes every week for you know what's funny that. is that the Mortal Kombat web series is was made, awesome made in Vancouver it was awesome starring a whole bunch of BSG people including yeah. fucking Hilo yeah and, and it's uh, awesome. He's a brought a shit the guy who played Raiden. Anyway, it's awesome. It's a good series. It's awesome. And fucking the, seven of nine. The thing is, this is sci-fi. They're not going to make a good web series. They're just going to be like, yeah, this is what happens. Okay, yeah, done. Because they're dumb. Dumb. Well, let's Dumb try to be cheap. optimistic. Maybe if this web series actually Optimism. does well, I, I like to try and be optimistic it's because there are, there are times where things. No, it's sci fi. Okay. okay. No. Just let no. me finish. Let him, let him finish. Let no, you're right. Our argu- your argument <laughs> has already. I quoted. understand. Sci fi, they're dicks. But whatever. Like, I want to be optimistic because there are times where I'm surprised by things. Like, Farscape did eventually get a conclusion, right? Firefly yeah. did eventually get a pseudo conclusion, even though it wasn't something that I really. It was more of a forced conclusion because the, what else are they going to do? And I will never forgive Fox. Maybe, maybe if uh, the web series does well enough, if it gets enough hype behind it, enough power behind oh, it, yeah. they'll actually make something out of it after. I will not watch Fox. Can I? Can I say something about prequels though? That I don't. That you guys can. Fuck. You guys can tear me out on this one. But I actually, and I, I mentioned this to Jay before. I actually don't like watching prequels because yeah, I, I feel either. like it doesn't really have anything to offer me in terms of story because I know where it eventually ends up. So, like, I'll use an example from Spartacus prequel, where, like, there was, like, a whole thing going on, and then Crixus, one of the characters, was injured, but then I know he's already in season yeah, one, which die. is the right. after, so you know he's not going to die. I understand. So, like, you kind of feel like you're watching it, but it's like, you know what's going to happen. Now, the only character the you would have known in Blood of Chrome... Of getting there isn't that exciting for me. The, and the only character you would have known in Blood of Chrome, though, would have been Adama. Yeah, yeah because Salt like, is not with him. But you know where it's going to end yeah. up. Yeah, you know, you, you know that. Yeah, no, yeah, but that's not the You know that Adama's. It you got to remember. Well, though. You got to yeah. hold on a second. Adama got kicked out after the Cylon, whatever war was. He's not in the army 
Yeah, After that war. He's a dirty porn star stuff. He's, yeah, he's fucking... Remember him and Saltire like hanging on an oil rig somewhere? And they're like, yeah, we're burly. Yeah, then he married so, back into the military. Yeah, he's, gotta get, he's gotta get his war-torn face from somewhere. He married back into the military and he fucking like, got a battle star. And it was a shitty battle star. And then he went past the red line. Better than nothing. Beef. Massive spoilers. The point is... We know it. We know it. The it's a great storyline. You would have known Kada- Commander Adama's storyline. You would have known that this guy started out as a Viper pilot and he eventually becomes a commander. Right. That's all you would have known. But to me, that's the whole interesting thing things with prequels yeah, is I want to know you, how these people oh. became who they became and you gotta remember like the final five got there right when the Cylon War started exactly so they, like they could just you'll actually right get to see like what the, what the final five were thinking when this shit just hit the fan cause they just come out of, like Cryo and the shit hit the fan. fan. Oh, that yeah, that would be fascinating. There, there's so much levels. potential for yeah. storyline that it's exactly. dumb that they're not making a series. I would love to you see what the, others, the rest of the final five were like with all their memories. 